Hey there, this is Mal from Dogploy, and today's video I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Docker Compose application. Specifically for this video, I will um, well I will follow the the steps of the documentation. Um, so yeah, so um, well the first thing you need to 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 have in order to make this is to have a Dogploy server. Uh, if you don't know how to install, you can go to the introduction video and you're going to see how we can install the 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 instance. In this case, I'm going to start. Well, the first thing, you need to create a project. So first, let's create a project. I'm going to create a C YouTube. Okay. Also, it says we need to create a Compose service. So let, let's create Compose Next App. And make sure to select Docker Compose. This is by default doc Docker Compose. So let's create it, and we can enter. Okay. Also, we provide a repository that we're going to deploy in this video. You can go, and this is the the repository. Um, you can see we have the Docker Compose. Yeah. And yeah, we and also like the best thing to do this is to. Well, is to open in your in your code. In my case, I'm using VS Code. So, um, yeah. Okay. So first, the first thing you need to make in order to work are two things. Okay. The first is the networks. Okay. The, all the servers need to be in the same network, which is this dog block network. Why? Well, because traffic is inside of this network, so you need to specify the same network. Okay, don't forget to add this line, and also don't forget to add this um, this network. Okay, and we we said it will be as external as true. Okay, the second thing you need to do is to use labels. Okay, the labels um, will tell to traffic to uh, to analyze these these labels, and well, traffic are are going to do all the hard work. Okay. First thing you need to make is uh, have this this label, which is traffic dot enable equal true. The second one is the most important. Okay, you need to have a domain. Okay, in this case, I'm on the owner of dogplay.com. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna create a, a record, uh, which will be next uh, app. Okay, so in my case, I'm using Cloudflare. So if we go to Cloudflare. Okay, so first, the first thing you need to do is to create a, a record. So let's go back here, and I'm gonna copy just this. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to paste, and you see, you can see it will be as the same as, as I have in the file. Yeah, it's the same. And then we need to uh, go to the server, go to settings because we need to to extract the the server IP. So let's copy. Let's go back, and just point. There we go. Okay. The this line uh, tells to to redirect to to HTTP to HTTPS. Okay, so this will be the first entry point. Okay, and this is the let's encrypt. Okay, this is the let's encrypt. This is in the case you don't have a well cer certificate, you can use the let's encrypt since it, this is totally free. So yeah. Also, um, this is the well. This is where we specify the port where application is running. Okay, in this case, the most common port of Next.js is the port 3000. Okay, so I'm just setting 3000, and then traffic automatically going to to this container and going to the the, the specific port that we be specified here, and are going to enter to this service. Okay. So that's everything you need to do in your existing Docker Compose files. Okay, the the idea is the is the same probably for almost all the service. Okay. Okay. So now we already have uh, pointed the record. We can go to Dogploy and enter to your service. And I'm gonna select Docker Compose test. Yeah, which is I I already have linked here with my GitHub account. I'm gonna select main and just this click by click deploy okay so let's enter yeah 
well and you can see the application is is running okay and it's already deploying you you can see it's, it's really fast you can go back to the logs and you can see the application is running okay and you can see the well some some IP but in this case uh, we specify a, a domain in the host of of these labels okay so let's copy this this domain paste it here and you're going to see you have the application running successfully okay yeah that's the case when you don't have a uh, certificates in your in your DNS provider okay but in the case that you want to use uh, the the um, the certificates from Cloudflare which is probably the the, the most common thing and uh, you just need to make a couple tweaks okay where this the changes well you need to change this web secure to web and you need to remove this okay and also the most important thing you need to go to SSL okay in my case uh, well this by default comes with flexible if you have inflexible you don't need to do anything okay but in the case you want to use the let's encrypt you need to change to full strict okay that will be the 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 only thing okay and yeah you can deploy and and that will be work and yeah that's uh, almost everything if we gone we can make the last um well the last test okay i'm gonna stop okay and you can see it and you can see the the application is not responding and if i i click deploy again which is really fast okay yeah the application is running again and if we reload well the application is running again successfully so yeah this is the well all of this uh, this video um, don't forget to to subscribe to the channel and also uh, leave a like and don't forget to join to the discord server which uh, we have a very active community where we usually have a, a very good uh, community to like when you have any 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 trouble or any issue you can ask to the to the server and probably someone are going to to help you and yeah and also don't forget to start the the repository and yeah that's all and thank you so much for for watching this video and see you soon bye